Daily Break Monday April 12th 2021 Monday of second week of Easter Daily Break Monday April 12th, 2021 Monday of second week of Easter The Holy Gospel according to St. John Among the Pharisees, there was a ruler of the Jews named Nicodemus He came to Jesus by night and said Rabbi, we know that You have come from God to teach us, for no one can perform miraculous signs like yours unless God is with him. Jesus replied, Truly I say to you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again from above. Nicodemus said, How can there be rebirth for a grown man who could go back to his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, Truly, I say to you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is spirit. Because of this, don't be surprised when I say you must be born again from above. The wind blows where it pleases and you hear its sound, but you don't know where it comes from or where it is going. It is like that with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to be open to the movement of the Holy Spirit in your life. The Hebrew people and early Christians were very much aware of the powerful wind that is unseen except in what it causes to happen. The Hebrew word for wind and breath is Urua. It is the same word that Scripture uses for the Spirit. The rule is the Spirit of God, which cannot be seen but can be experienced in what the Spirit does in the lives of those who believe. The Holy Spirit makes things happen. Even when mortals plot against God and God's will, the Spirit of God empowers those who are faithful so that they can fulfill God's plan. Saints Peter and John are aware of this as they return from being questioned are revoked by the Jewish religious leaders. The psalmist is aware also that even though some are working against God and the anointed one of God, God will raise up the anointed one to even greater glory. In the Gospel, Jesus also speaks about the power of the Holy Spirit, which enables one to be born from above. In the Gospel, Nicodemus one of the religious leaders of Pharisees comes to Jesus at night. Nicodemus recognizes the holiness and specialness of Jesus. That is, Jesus is from God. Jesus then speaks about the importance of being born if one wants to be part of the reign of God. The word another has two meanings. First, 
from above and second again. Jesus takes us to mean the first, whereas Nicodemus interprets to be the second. Jesus clarifies Nicodemus' misunderstanding by saying that it is necessary to be born from above, that is, by water and the Spirit. When one is born spiritually by the enduring of the Holy Spirit, one is empowered by the Spirit and great things happen. Once again, a play on words is used. The Greek word pneuma is similar in meaning to the Hebrew word rural. It can mean spirit, wind, or breath. It is that unseen force or power which who can cause traumatic results. When people have the Spirit of God blowing into and through them, they are energized to do God's will with the force and power of God. People cannot see the Spirit, but they can see the effect caused by the Spirit. I am reminded today as I reflect on the readings that the church is in the midst of celebrating the Paschal ministry, even if we are not together in the same building. These mysteries include Jesus' death and resurrection, his ascension into heaven and the sending of the Holy Spirit upon his disciples. Belief in Jesus, the anointed one, the Messiah, the Christ, requires us to accept what Jesus has done for us through his death and resurrection. Not only has Jesus brought us salus, healing, wholeness, forgiveness, and salvation, Jesus continues to empower us by the Holy Spirit to further his good news. The Holy Spirit was not just given to the disciples of Jesus in a one-time event, Pentecost. The Holy Spirit came upon them frequently, and the Holy Spirit continues to come upon the disciples of Jesus today. We who are born from above and again must allow the Spirit of God to breathe new life into us again and again. We must let the Spirit flow into and through us with divine power and force. We must move out with the power of the Spirit to continue the announcement of the good news of Jesus. The Holy Spirit of the risen Lord is still very active in the world. We may not always realize how the Spirit is working in our lives. Yet, the more we are aware of our being born from above, the more the Spirit of God can work in us. And even if those who are opposed to God's plans work against God and us, we must realize that God's Spirit, who is with us, is more powerful than the force that is driving those who work against God. And if we allow God's Spirit to flow into and through us, we can join the prayer of Peter and John in today's first reading and pray. And now, Lord, take note the trust and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done 
through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. The portion of question or action for today, when I have experienced the pneuma of God, the Spirit of God working in my life, have I been open to being born from above and again? Do I see that I am always at the stage of new beginning and initiation in my journey of faith? What can I do to stand up with all boldness and speak God's word to others? How can I help others realize the presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, ever-loving and powerful. Through your goodness, you have given us a share in your spirit, prema and rule, when I have been born from above and again. You continue to empower us to go out in the name of your Son, Jesus, and to proclaim his good news to those with whom we come in contact. For the times we have worked contrary to your plan, we seek your pardon and forgiveness. Renew our awareness of your Holy Spirit's presence in our lives. May we give you all the glory and praise as we go out in the name of your Son Jesus. For he is our Lord and Savior, our Master, Teacher, and Redeemer, and he is living and reigning with you and your Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Không là thần thánh, người trần si cúi đầu.